so used to seeing my barn, you know. I mean, and now it's just an empty space. This is what's left of Hidden Pines Farm. It's nothing, no. Those who kept their horses here called it the Majestic Pony Palace. Physically, I feel good. Mentally, I'm destroyed. I mean, Eddie Soto Sanchez is property manager. He lives here, caring for the horses all day, every day. You just want to make sure, you know, everything is taken care of before me. He proved that Monday morning when the fire alarm started ringing. So I run into the barn, open the doors, run in, and this just dark, bleak, hot cloud of smoke just rushed out. And then I realized, like, it's a fire. 14 horses trapped inside. And as soon as I opened those first doors, then it was like an oven. Burning his hands, rushing to open every stall door. One, two, three, four horses. But I noticed that when he ran out, there was smoke coming out of his back. And I could hear the horse next to him screaming and kicking. And Firefighters pulled Eddie back, but he wasn't done. I was still trying to get my old friend, Dave. He was an older retired horse. Once I opened that door, he didn't come out. That moment, now on replay in Eddie's mind. I, I opened the door, I called his name, and he just wouldn't answer it. And at that point, you know, they told me, there's nothing you can do, and I keep yelling at them that there were still horses in there. The flames were too much. Paramedics took Eddie to the hospital, but all he wanted was to go back to the barn, which is what he's been doing every day since. And I keep going back to Dave's stall, to where... You know, I, I see him there and I'm like, buddy, I mean, I tried and you know I tried. It makes me feel like I didn't do enough. Eddie says the four horses that did survive are doing well. Two are still at the animal hospital. The other two are now at a horse park. Boy, we heard about this. We immediately thought of him. You understand why he's not willing to accept that role of being a hero, but what he did was remarkable. Very remarkable. All right, thank you, Brianna.